Bonjour. Today, aujourd'hui, ouvrez les livres à la page 140. 100 is 100 and 40 is 40. So please open your box à la page 140. Voilà, you'll see um, at the end of the book um, all the, the lessons. Um, there's a revision lesson on the lessons. And then at the far end of the book, you'll see all the grammar is also summarized. So you can just page through that if there's something you don't understand. Voilà. So I am now à la page 140. And we're going to do some of these exercises together. Les exercices. Nous allons faire les exercices ensemble. Ensemble is together. And that is like um, when you have a, a ensemble music ensemble. It's people playing together, a little group of people. So we are working ensemble. So remember again, if I go too fast or trop vite, vite is quick, trop vite, you can just pause or you can just go back. Bon. Regardez, watch, regardez numéro un. Kies. Can you remember what is kies? Kies means who is it? It is a key. Kies. Now, you actually have to go back. So put your finger on the pages that we come from. And then um, you look. we have to look who these people are. Now, even for me, it was a little bit difficult. So see if you can quickly go back. To initiate un, there where we read about the people and they were greeting each other um, right in the beginning of the book. So that will be à la page six and set. So keep your finger there and then let's see. It's just actually for us to, to, to practice to say, who is it? It is. So you remember it is, is set. Now I'm going to give you two or three minutes. No, two minutes. A minute. So quickly see if you can recognize the people. And then I'll ask the questions. I'll give you a, a few moments. Voilà. Qui est-ce? Who is it? Alors, numéro un, qui est-ce? And then you must answer me. It is Loïc. C'est Loïc. Qui est-ce? C'est Loïc. Numéro deux, qui est-ce? C'est Magali. I think. I hope. Numéro trois, qui est-ce? C'est Olivier. C'est Olivier. Numéro quatre, Qui est-ce? I've got Olivier again there. I don't, I don't think I'm right, but c'est Olivier. Numéro 5. Qui est-ce? C'est Isabelle. C'est Isabelle. Numéro 6. Qui est-ce? C'est Madame Luca. C'est Madame Luca. Numéro 7. Qui est-ce? C'est Sébastien. C'est Sébastien. Numéro 8, qui est-ce? C'est Magali. C'est Magali. You can just control it, maybe, numéro 3 et numéro 4. So this you use when someone knocks at the door. You can say, yes, who is it? Or when someone's coming from far and one of you can't see, you can say, yes, or speaking, who said this? Qui est-ce? C'est madame. It's madame talking to you. C'est madame. Voilà. Bon, numéro 2. Numéro 2 is a télé-jeu. And I say we only got 30 secondes to do the télé-jeu. So look at télé-jeu, 30 secondes, but we can take longer, it's not. So you must listen, écoute, to what I say, and then Chloe gagne quatre choses et Max 
gagne six choses. Chloe wins four things and Max wins six things. So it was a telly show, so they won. So Chloe won four things and Max won six things. And now you must, when I read it to you, you must put it in the in the right order and tell me at the end what did Chloe win and what did Max win. Bon, voilà. Chloe, un baladeur, une trousse, un classeur, un bic. Max, un portable, une calculatrice, des crayons, une poubelle, un lecteur MP3, un téléviseur, un téléviseur. So Max won the best things, I think. So Chloe had a baladeur, that's also like a MP3 or something number one. And then in trousse, a pencil bag, and a file, a classeur. And Max won a cell phone, a portable, a calculator, une calculatrice. He also won the crayon. He won an MP3, numéro 6. And he also won numéro 4, un téléviseur. So we actually got the bulk of the things. Now let's see if we can, from number one to number ten, if you can remember what that is without looking back. Okay? Un baladeur, numéro deux, un portable, numéro trois, une calculatrice, numéro quatre, un téléviseur, Numéro 5, des crayons. Numéro 6, un lecteur MP3. Numéro 7, un classeur. Numéro 8, une poubelle. Numéro 9, un cartable. Et numéro 10, une trousse. Une trousse. Ça va? Voilà, so this is revision, revision. Now let's go, attaquons numéro 3. Let's do, do number 3 together. Remember, it's a good idea on top of your page to just write the date when you did something because we do most of the things in our book. So just write it there. In a numéro 3, they ask, c'est quelle image? Say you know now it, it is... Quel is which and image its picture. So, which picture is the pair, the partner, the pair, the partner of which sentence? So, you must pair the sentences and um, the, 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 the image, pictures. So, let's look at the pictures. Regardez les images. Ah, look at ah, you can see it's a Seems to a maman talking to a fille. B, deux amis, two school friends, deux amis talking to each other. Numéro trois, I think someone asks him and he's got a right, uh, uh, it seems well right, correct. D, j'ai 12 ans, I'm 12 years old. E, question and then a cross. F, she's wondering about something. G, deux livres. H, crayon and a gum, a beak, a uh, compa. And then numéro H, they ask a question. Sorry, I said that's H. G was the book and the pens. H, the answer was Je m'appelle Pierre. 
Now see if we can link it to the questions. Number one was salut. Salut. So which one do you think is there? Salut is a very informal greeting. You won't greet your teacher. Well, you can, salut, but I mean, actually for French, it's very informal. So that will be numéro B. Bonjour, madame. Numéro A. Voici des affaires scolaires. Now, you remember, affair means my things. And scolaire means school. So these are my school things. Mes affaires scolaires. So that will be numéro G. Now is a question at numéro 4. Ça va? Oui, ça va bien, merci. Ça va? Oui, ça va bien, merci. Now which one do you think is that? Numéro C. It's asking a question and then is this got uh, a correct mark? So it's ça va, ça va bien. Numéro D, quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? How old are you? So that will be numéro D, I'm 12 years old. Numéro 6, ça va? Non, pas très bien. Non, pas très bien. Ça c'est numéro E, I, E. 7, Où oh, sont mes affaires scolaires? Où oh, means where? And son is the plural of a. So where are my school things? Où oh, sont mes affaires scolaires? So that will be the little girl that's wondering. So it's numéro F. And then numéro, the last one, numéro 8. Comment t'appelles-tu? Comment t'appelles-tu? What is your name? And that will be numéro H, because the answer was, je m'appelle Pierre. So please go over these um, again, and the questions are very important. Comment t'appelles-tu? Quel âge as-tu? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Because you can learn French, and you can learn to answer, but you must, a conversation doesn't only consist of answers. So sometimes you have to ask the questions. So that's why... We teach you the questions. Ça va? Bon. Un petit break. Take a little break. Un petit break. And then you go back, s'il vous plaît, to page 11. Page 11. <coughs> Pardon. Éternuer. That's to sneeze. Éternuer. En français, that is to sneeze. Okay, when you are at page 11, I just want to make sure that you know everything now. Just have a look. If you can't remember something on this page, just go back to that lesson. I think it's the previous lesson. And just listen to them again. I just want to accentuate the questions. So look at the left, gauche, à gauche, à la page 11, the left-hand side. And now at the end of this lesson, you must be able to... Say hello and give my name. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Alianda. What is your name? Comment t'appelles-tu? Because you also have to ask questions. But remember, if you forget that one, you say, Je m'appelle Paul. Et toi? And then, salut Linda. Je m'appelle Alain. I must, you must be able to give your age. Quel âge as-tu? Ask. And then, j'ai 14 ans. J'ai 15 ans, j'ai 16 ans. Remember, that's the verb to have, j'ai. So the verb to have, you can actually um, practice anyway. You can actually say, j'ai deux chiens, I've got two dogs. J'ai quatre crayons, I've got four pencils. And then you must also be able to ask people how they are and say how you are. So, ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Comme si, comme ça. Non, pas très bien. And then also in this lesson, pardon, you must be able to recognize masculine and feminine. Now remember again, a masculine word for the, the, the for a masculine word is le, for a feminine word is la, and for a plural word it's le. 
and then a masculine feminine for un is masculine une is feminine so un cahier a une trousse at the bottom of the page and their plural will be des cahiers et des trousses and we don't have a plural in english we say a book box the french say a book some box and then remember that your most of the time your um, noun uh, you will also get an s sometimes other endings but most of the time is to tell it's a plural but you don't remember you don't pronounce it so uh, please make sure we're done with this lesson now so that you understand everything please make sure that you can spell everything and go back to the other youtube lessons if you um if you really um uh, i don't know what or otherwise you can ask me you could always ask me um in the task that i will send to you um you'll have my email address and you can anytime you can ask me a question bon so before the end of the lesson i'm going to do the civilization and the civilization today is about Paris, Paris, but in Paris is one of the biggest and one of the most famous art museums, Le Louvre. Le Louvre. L-O-U, Le Louvre. Now, in the Louvre are some of the most famous artworks in the world. And the most famous one, I think you all know that, is, remember, La Joconde. La Joconde is the name for the Mona Lisa. Now, the Mona Lisa, I'll bring my Mona Lisa to you once when we're back. And you can see, for me, the Mona Lisa is a mysterious woman. Um, and there are a lot of stories about who she is or what. But actually, her name is in the Louvre. Um, underneath her painting, they say that she was Lisa Jocondia, an Italian woman. Lisa Giocondia and her husband, Monsieur Giocondia, he asked for Leonardo da Vinci to, to uh, make a portrait of his, of, his, um, of his wife. So Mona is actually my in Italian and Lisa is her name. So she was Lisa Giocondia and uh, her husband called the painting or Leonardo da Vinci called the painting Mona Lisa, my Lisa. So in French, it will be Ma Lisa, but now it's Italian, so it's Mona Lisa. So that is the painting that everybody flocks to when they get to the Louvre. If you don't, if you don't you know, or you can just follow all the people, everybody goes there. It's actually a big painting, um, but it's very special in one or other way. And um, millions and millions of visitors every year go and visit the Mona Lisa. But you won't see the word Mona Lisa in the Louvre. They call it La Joconde, from Jocondia. So they call it La Joconde, they don't call it La Mona Lisa. So remember, um, if you go to the Louvre, it's one of the things that I think you would like to see, um, the Mona Lisa. But go and read up, there's a lot of stories, you know, the Mona Lisa was um, stolen twice, and they got it back once. One of the guards, one of the, the workers in the in the Louvre, actually cut it out of the frame, rolled it up, put it underneath his his uh, uh, jacket, and then he went out with that, and it was gone for years. They looked for it for years. But you know what? If you steal it, you can't actually sell it because then somebody will know that you stole it. So now it's guarded, heavily guarded. Um, you can't get near to it. Um, it's on its, a separate wall. Um, so why it is so famous, maybe you can tell me. Because for me, it's not the prettiest thing in the Louvre. But it's very famous, maybe the mysterious way that she looks at you, I don't know. But the Mona Lisa or La Joconde, I think, is the one of the most famous paintings in the world. And it was done by Leonardo da Vinci. That's also one of the questions in your, um, in your tash. Bon, voila, I'm going to greet you now. So the only homework that you have is go and read a little bit about the French culture. Um, French culture, French habits, um, French paintings, everything if you're interested in art. And you'll see there's a lot of interesting things. Um, sur le net. Sur le net means on the internet. So I'm going to greet you now. I'll see you next week for Lesson Set. Au revoir. A bientôt.